Up next, one of our uh, regular favorites here, Eric Rudia. I'm going to earn it. I'm going to earn it. But I haven't earned it yet, so don't just give it to me because I'm up here whining. Start with a sad tale first. I was, um, I was 25. Well, I was about to turn 25. It was the day before my 25th birthday. And I knew that my girlfriend was serious because she broke up with me on the day before my 25th birthday. You don't just do that on a whim. There was some planning that went into that, and I went, in, went, went through a sad period lasted a couple hours, and then I realized, oh man, I got songwriting class this week, and I gotta write a song. So, what I didn't have with me was, I didn't have a table full of poets to help me rhyme a word with the word system. And, and the hook to this song is gonna be, get it out of your system, because you see I've just been broken up with. Um, and I spent hours and hours, and finally I said, screw it, I give up, I'm not gonna rhyme anything with the word system. And then the entire songwriting class was like, kissed him, missed him, dissed him. They, they were not helpful at all. Um, but uh, I don't know why I feel like reviving this song tonight. Because um, it's 15 years old and it's, uh, it, it is not relevant to my life, unlike sleeping or bicycles. <laughs> Sorry, is he still here? Really, I, I am going to earn some applause but by behaving badly. Um, but anyway, out of your system, live at the Wolf. So you sing your feel it strong and you're taking on the world. You've got your X-ray vision goggles and a ray gun. It's an ugly world out there, but you're letting down your hair. You're going to show them all the metal that you're made of. Take your chances and take your time and get it out of your system, out of your system. Cause one day you're gonna turn around and wish you'd had an assistant. I tried. <laughs> got your villains on your right, got your target in your sight. You'll blow them all to Hades with your laser high beam. They're fitting in the way of your supersonic slayer Going straight to number one with a bullet Take your chances and take your time And get it out of your system, out of your system Cause one day you're gonna turn around And wish you had an assistant Now you're winning all your battles And you're making it look easy And your guns are blazing, eyes are burning Boots are kicking up the clouds How does it feel to be the ruler from your super secret hideout deep in Alaska, the heart of Alaska. Get it? Now you've vanquished all your foes and you're wiggling your toes. You keep them warm under your thermal fusion covers. You declare you're having fun, you're not lacking anyone. It's that your competition smile as you break it. Take your chances and take your time and get it out of your system, out of your system. Cause one day you're gonna turn around and wish you had an assistant. Yeah. Ah, thank you. That's more like it. So, um, so the songwriting class, yes, Steve? I'm not sure. I've heard you fingerprint Well. Then you are in for a treat when I finger pick again some other night. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, yeah, this next song is probably not a finger picking song. So, um, so when I was living in Chicago, I, uh, as I mentioned, I was taking these songwriting classes at the Old Town School of Folk Music. And um, before the Old Town School of Folk Music moved over to Wilson Street, it used to be on Armitage, right off of the uh, the Brown Line L. And there was kind of a rite of passage at the, the Old Town School of Folk Music. The, uh, the songwriting teacher was Ralph Covert from the Bad Examples. Thank you. The Ravenswood Line. Now known as the Brown Line. Anyway, we can get back to my story here. So, uh, so Ralph Covert, the songwriting teacher, was, uh, he was a great guy, really encouraging, helped us all kind of work our craft. And then um, you know, once a session, he would do this. You know, he he he'd hang out with the students after class, and we'd all go out, and um, 
and, we, and, and we'd stand outside the Old Town School building, and, and Ralph would wait for the brown line to kind of come approaching out of his peripheral vision, and he'd pull, pull aside a, uh, you know, a, a first-term songwriting student, and he'd say, I'm gonna tell you the secret to songwriting. Here's what you gotta do. You start with, and then he'd just move his lips, and as the train would come by, and you couldn't hear, you didn't, I mean, he could have been describing how Stairway to Heaven was written, but you'd never know it, because that, that was, but every time, there would be some student, including me, who'd fall for it. And then he'd finish, he'd be like, oh, the, the universe is, the songwriting gods are channeling themselves through me, I don't know that I could ever do that again. And then we'd go home depressed and try and have to follow some songwriting prompt for the next week. So, um... Steve and I were talking about songwriting prompts last week, and uh, probably the most intense songwriting prompt exercise I've ever had to do was, um, was at this songwriting retreat I took in Yosemite, and we'd climb up from, uh, from, from the, the, the base. We'd send our guitars and packs up on these pack mules, and the cowboys would like take our stuff up, and then we'd climb for like three and a half hours up to about 7,500 feet by Lady Lake in Yosemite. And we'd get there, and then the, uh, the, the guys who were running the songwriting retreat would say, all right, you have an hour. Write a song. Your prompt is, I love what you've done with this place. Go! <laughs> and we'd all like find a bush or a rock or something, and we'd have to write a song. So, um, so this is a song. There, there's probably ten songs out in the universe called I Love What You've Done With This Place. This is mine, and it was written in an hour in Yosemite. When he comes back, I think I'll play real cool. Say something like, hey Jesus, I love what you've done in this place. He'll roll his eyes the way that only he can. Say this is not the time or place for jokes. People ask themselves what they think I'd do, what they think I'd drive to work. They don't ask themselves what my job would be. Who my boss would be Did I earn my raise this year And then he'd look at me real serious And say, just tell me how you make it through the day And I'd say, praise no devil And I fear no God And I don't watch the news anymore Jesus stared at me and looked like he was gonna spit, looked like he was gonna curse at the sky. He collected himself, left a tip and paid the bill, left enough to make the waitress smile. He said, listen close, I'll tell you what you've gotta do, and as he spoke, a train went rattling by. Now I'll never know exactly what he Said, I just try each day to do a decent thing or two And then he'd look at me real serious And say, just tell me how you make it through the day And I'd say, praise no devil, I fear no God I don't watch the news 